Good morning, YouTube. Thrift School over here. I am in Houston, Texas. Well, just about 15 minutes away, right outside of Houston, Texas. But I'm driving in there right now, and I'm going thrifting. Um, I'm gonna be here for about four or five days. So we're gonna hit up a lot of Goodwills. They have family thrift centers here. They have a whole bunch of different thrift stores than they do up in Connecticut. So let's see what we find. All right, I don't know what this place is. It's called Family Thrift Center. It seems pretty dead, but it also looks pretty big. So hopefully it's good and we can get some deals. There's like no one even in this parking lot at all. Is that a cop back there? No. All right, cool. I know you're not supposed to drive across parking lots, but what are you gonna do? All right, so we're gonna check out Family Thrift Center. So I'm pulling up to this pawn shop and it had probably the worst imaginable reviews. Had all one stars besides one four star. So I am very interested to see how bad this one is. Um, I did end up getting a few things at that family thrift store. I got, let me just show you. I got this game Toy Story 3 for the PSP. It's complete in the case. I expect to sell it for about 12 to $15. I only paid $1.91, and last we grabbed a couple SNES games here. We got Aladdin and The Lion King. I only paid $3.93 for both of these. Um, they go for about $15 to $20 bucks a piece. Uh, around That was around Christmas time last time I sold them. They probably dropped a little bit. I bet you they're closer to $12 to $15 a piece right now, but the prices always go up on these. These are actually in very clean condition. The pins look good. The labels are in good condition. Those are things that collectors really care about, so we are going to put these up on Amazon along with this Toy Story 3. I spent a very small total, as you can tell. I only paid $6.35. So really didn't pay too much, but now let's go inside that pawn shop. All right, pulling up to another Cash America pawn right here. Now I am in Jacinto City, as you can tell, because everything is in Spanish. It says Casa de Empino, I think. I don't really know. I don't speak Spanish, but um, I don't know if I'm in a good area of town, in a bad area of town. Um, which is kind of a problem because I've never been to Texas. I've never been to Houston. So I could be driving around in a, in a very rough area without even knowing. But, you know, it, the only reason why I say that is because pawn shops are generally a little sketchy to begin with. So to be in a pawn shop in a bad area, you know, sometimes that's just asking for trouble. But we're going to try and make some money. Here we are pulling into the other Easy Pawn. I guess they're a chain out here. So we'll see how this one is. Hopefully they have lots of video games like the other one. But hopefully we can uh, find some good ones in here. So far I kind of like these little pawn shops. I picked up this game Project Eva X and Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Both for the PS4, $9.99 a piece. This one goes for about 30, 32, I think. This one goes for about 29, so not too shabby. I'll double my money, if not more than that, on both of those. Off to the next pawn shop. All right, here we are. On destination on the left, Cash America Pawn, which definitely looks like another chain out here. Here it is, lots of trucks out front. Probably means they have a lot of tools or people just like to drive trucks in Houston, I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can find some cool stuff. Just left this Cash America Pawn. They actually had a lot of stuff at really good prices, but I'll explain what went wrong in a second. I grabbed WWE 2K17 for $5, which is not too shabby. I got this Olympus voice recorder for $10. They took the sticker off the back. This goes for about 25. This goes for about 20. And then this whole P90X set, they wanted 10, I got it for five bucks. The cool thing is, it comes with the set, which should be about 20 to $30 on eBay. Two P90 DVDs, which I'm not even sure what they go for, the nutrition guide and the workout guide, which I could sell separately. So that should be, you know, at least $50 right there. Now, they had a whole bunch of stuff. And they had lots of cameras, lots of GPSs, a lot of really, really, really good stuff that I could have definitely made a killing on. But they didn't have chargers for anything. They accept, they buy things from people without the chargers. So every single camera in there didn't have a charger. Every single GPS didn't have a charger. I was gonna get a 3DS, didn't have the charger. I'm like what the heck am I gonna do with this? So I had to pass on the 3DS. They wanted $50 for it. It was going for about 120 on Amazon. Couldn't get it. 
both the GPS's, they wanted $5 for. They're both Garmin newbies. They were going for about $50 to $60 each. Didn't have the chargers. And there was a Canon Elf, some kind of camera. I forgot what it was. They wanted $25. It was selling for $75 online. Didn't have the charger. So I didn't want to take the risk. Maybe if it was local to me and I could you know, buy the part, buy the chargers, or find chargers that match them, test them at home, and then uh, if they had a little warranty, I could return them, but this is halfway across the country, so I wasn't going to take, you know, a, a random chance, spend 50 bucks, or it would have been more than 50 if I bought the 3DS, would have been close to $100 on all that stuff, so I decided not to do it. I got the things that I know will sell, the things that work fine, so that's good. We're gonna find another pawn shop. The pawn shops out here are freaking awesome. Just while I was in there, people were pawning stuff like crazy. They seemed like a lot of druggies, but whatever. I mean, the the stuff that are in these pawn shops is 10 times cheaper, 10 times more abundant than Connecticut. So that's one good thing about Houston, Texas. Also, the thrift stores here, the clothing is very high priced, but everything else is pretty low priced, which is the complete opposite of Connecticut. The clothing is usually very low priced and everything else is a little bit higher priced. So we'll see if it continues to be that way. I still, it's only 1130 in the morning. I still have until about six o'clock to hit up as many places as I want. So let's go. All right, we just got to another Cash America. Let's see what we come out with. So the last place had a lot of really, really good stuff, a lot of good games. And um, I'm always weary when I see a lot of good stuff because it usually means that the prices are too high and the prices were too high. So I, I was seeing video games that I don't even see at GameStop, but I'm like, oh, wow, okay, this is a rare one, this is a rare one. So I'm grabbing them all out. I'm looking at the prices. I'm like, maybe the game's worth more than this. No, no, it's not. And. Um, like the prices were still lower than Amazon, but not enough to flip. So there were games that, you know, they had priced at $30, they're selling on Amazon for $38. So it's definitely not flippable. Still, the prices are good if you were trying to buy it for yourself, but just not flippable prices. So we're going to a thrift store now, because I figured I'm kind of done with the pawn shops for, for now until I see another one. I didn't really like the Cash America pawns too much. They're pretty run down in this area, but the easy pawns were, a little bit better, I think. I don't know. I don't know. They were both kind of the same. So we're going to another family thrift center, which is where I found those video games first thing this morning. Let's see if I found more. Here we are at the thrift store. This place is pretty big. Thrift stores are pretty big here, but they don't really have a lot of good stuff. I mean, I found a sealed CD, sealed video game, regular video game and some phones so far. Let's keep looking. Anybody need giant pairs of underwear? They got you covered. Look at what we're pulling up to, guys. A Gucci Will, pulling up to Goodwill. And I'm super excited because I know how Goodwills are, but I'm hoping that the ones here are a little bit better. I already hit up, what, I think two? I don't know, since I've been in Texas? Yeah, two. And both of them were, not so great, but I'm excited because this one's gonna be better. So <laughs> let's hope we find more stuff. Whoa, I found uh, Battlefront 2 for $2.99, and that's about it. Can't find anything else here. I should stop getting excited when I see Goodwills out here because they don't really have as much or as good a quality stuff as they do in Connecticut out here. Anyways, I don't know. Um, but that's all I found. I looked through all the CDs. Look through all these racks, there were no other good video games. The electronic section is horrible here and the clothing's so overpriced. But at least I got this. Pulling up to another easy pawn. I'm looking up UPS's because I have a shipment in the back of my car, but they're all so far away. So I figured I would just hit up pawn shops and more thrift stores while I'm in this part. I'm not in the nicest part of town, I don't think. I don't know, it didn't seem very nice. But um, hopefully they have good deals in here. All right, what did we get? We just left this easy pawn. I spent a grand total of twenty-eight eleven, and I got Silent Hill Collection. This was only eight dollars, not fifteen. This goes for almost thirty. I got Dirt for the PS3. This was also eight dollars. This goes for around twenty-three, I think. This game uh, has a really high rank. It was only $2, that's why I grabbed it. Looks like it's going for about 15 bucks, but the rank's around 50,000 in video games. I just grabbed it. Um, and then for another $8, 
I got Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit. This is like a $35 to $40 game, so not too shabby. I'm really liking the Easy Pawns here in Houston. They're doing pretty well for me. I mean, making some, making some good money. All right, just left that Cash America Pawn, and for $30 cash, I walked out with this Aliens versus Predators. This game uh, goes for a decent amount. I can't exactly remember. Um, 15 and up, I believe. This guy right here, uh, I only paid 99 cents. Like I said, $30 cash total. Uh, he only goes for about $3.80 something cents after fees. So I was only expecting to make about a little under $3 total on him. He had a decent rank, so I figured why not, right? But since I saved a little money paying cash, I'm gonna make just about $3 on him. And I got this guy. I thought it was brand new sealed for three bucks, but then I looked at it and the seal has been opened, even though it looks like it's never been used. Still have to sell it used, make about 10 bucks on it after fees. And then I got something for myself. So basically I got this for free. I've been looking for one of these. It's an Xbox One Connect. It's a camera, hooks up to your Xbox One because I want to stream video games on Twitch when I play them since I play them all the time anyways. Might as well stream them. <laughs> so figured that'd be uh, kind of fun to do so I could talk to the camera and stuff like that. You guys know I like talking to the camera, so there we go. Um, the car is getting a little packed with stuff, obviously. I mean, I don't have a lot of room in here, but we're gonna still go to more pawn shops, more thrift stores. I mean, I, I still have another four hours to do this, so I got lots of time, let's keep going. Pulling up to another pawn shop. This one is called Circle Pawn Shop. Um, Nobody's here, so I'm gonna be the only one. Hopefully I uh, get some good stuff here. Did good at that last one, so let's see if we do good here. All right, just left this circle pawn shop. I left with three games. Man, they it's hard to haggle here. I They were $5 each, total came to $16.24 after tax. I was like, can you just take 15 cash? He's like, nope, we can only take $16.24. They're at a good price. I was like, really? I don't wanna have change? He's like, well, you can round it up. And I was like, what? No. And so I got the change and whatever. So that's fine. I got uh, this game right here goes for about 27. This one isn't selling on Amazon for some reason. It has zero rank. There's a few listings at about, I think, $28 or something. But it sells pretty consistently on eBay for about $15. And then this guy right here, uh, I think I would have just doubled my money, but that's still cool. So. Not too bad for 16, whatever I paid, 24. I don't get why he wouldn't just go to $15 cash, but I should just pay it with my card instead of getting all that change back because I'm starting to stock up on change and it keeps rolling out of my pockets in here. But I guess that's cool, I guess I get change. Um, so we're gonna look for another pawn shop. Here we are at another easy pawn. These things are everywhere here, it's pretty crazy. Oh wait, have I already been in here? This looks kind of familiar. Uh, I don't know. I might have already been to this one because they have the locked doors. I'm gonna peek in through the window real quick. No, I definitely haven't been into this one. Cool. So we'll go in there, see what we find. All right, we left that pod shop and the games were on sale for $5 each instead of $10 each. Picked up another one of these burst limit games. They go for just under 40 bucks. And I've never ever seen this game in my life before. It's called Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion X. Originally 10, all the games were half off at five. So I got this one, uh, well I paid five bucks, but what was it going for? It was going for about $29.99, almost $30. Now I thought they were all $10, and once I got to the register, she's like, they're all $5. And I was like, ah, oh, and she's like, and if you get more, we could do a bundle, but I'm so hungry. Had to make it to Subway right down the road. I might go back there, I don't know. Cause there were a bunch of games where I was like, eh, I'll only make a dollar or two at $10. But now that they're $5, I'd make more like $7 on them. So it'd be kind of worth it to go back and grab a bunch of those games. They had a lot of games there, but I think I'm just gonna keep hitting up new places. I don't know, I, I already have so many things in the car that I'm still doing pretty good, but let's get some food. Here's the city of Houston. We are heading to a half price books. I've never been to a half price books before and they're only down south, I believe. So pretty awesome. Let's see if we find anything there. Houston has a Ferris wheel going on the side of the highway. Look how cool that is. I wanna ride that Ferris wheel now. All right, pulling up to another pawn shop right here. We're at Action City Pawn. So I didn't find anything at that Half Price Books or that pawn shop, but we are here at another Cash America Pawn. Casa de 
Empino or Empino, 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 Nino. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Let's go inside. I scored like a bandit in this Cash America Pond. They also had a um, copy of Grand Theft Auto V and a copy of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, both for the Xbox One. 12 bucks a piece. They couldn't find the discs. So I had to leave them behind. But I spent 77, 79. And I actually got a lot of really good games. Um, I'll show you guys real quick. I got Harry Potter. Now, each one of the games that were not for the newest generation of consoles were only four bucks a piece. So, Lego Harry Potter, years five to seven. That game goes, I don't really know what they all go for, but they all go for more. So, I'm going to make more money on each one. Uh, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, a brand new sealed copy of UFC Trainer. This one's only $3, and this game goes for about $14, $15 new. Uh, NASCAR 14 for the PS3. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean for the Wii. This is actually kind of rare, I don't know why. It's Guitar Hero 3 and Guitar Hero Aerosmith dual pack. I think collect. there we go, I'm back. I got cut off, ran out of memory. I had to delete some old videos, but I think collectors just want this for the case because I opened it up and it's literally just the two game discs that would normally come in the regular cases in here. And this thing goes for almost $30. You could buy each one of these games separately for maybe four bucks each. So I'm surprised how much that actually goes for. I didn't have a bad rank either. And then I got Dead Space Retraction for, or Extraction, sorry, for the Wii, the original Wii. Uh, this game is worth about 30 bucks. Definitely keep an eye out for this. Avatar, the Burning Earth. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else did we get? Just a couple more 360 games. NASCAR Unleashed for the 360. This is the second time I found this game today, Armored Core 4 Answer. Uh, this is almost a $30 game as well. Last Xbox 360 game, Dragon Ball Z. I always try to keep an eye out for Dragon Ball Z games. They tend to sell for a good amount. This one goes for about 20 to 25. It's called Dragon Ball Z for Connect. Then I got one PS Vita game, first PS Vita game of the day. We got Gravity Rush for the PS Vita. Uh, goes for about 15 to 20 bucks, but I only paid four for it. Then I also got uh, Battlefield 1 for the Xbox One and Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for the Xbox One. Only paid 12 bucks a piece. Freaking awesome. So here is a place called Bayou Pond, but their whole parking lot is full. Shut up, GPS. The parking lot's actually not full. I'm gonna pull out because I saw one spot and we're gonna park there. All right, this guy over here said he was gonna wash my windows and clean my tires for some money. And I told him no, but then he asked for money anyways. <laughs> and I felt bad, it's really hot out here and he's actually trying to hustle. I didn't wanna waste time getting my tires or my windows clean, so I just lifted this up and I grabbed some money out. I gave him a bunch of quarters that were in there. There's still a few left, but I did end up giving him about $1.50 in quarters, so maybe even a little bit more. So, whatever. There goes my change. <laughs> Let's go make some money. Woo! I've literally been looking everywhere for a Rock Band 2 complete bundle to give to my buddy for his birthday while I'm down here. And I finally found one at a pawn shop. I have looked everywhere, every GameStop, every game store, every thrift store. I cannot find it. Finally found it. Here's the kicker. I got the drums, two guitars, all the dongles, and the game. 40 bucks cash out the door. Couldn't have asked for a better price. I mean, I guess I could have asked for